My name is Mario Ibarra Jr. I'm an artist from Los Angeles. I own and operate, along with my wife Carla Diaz, a gallery in Chinatown called the New Chinatown Barbershop. It's a work, it was a working barbershop for about 50 years, and now we run artist projects out of this space. Today we're here at the Sweeney Tate. The setup here is based a little bit on what the barbershop looks like in Los Angeles. You're getting a trumped up simulacrum view of what my barbershop is in Los Angeles. It's more of a London dungeon meets Madame Tussauds meets my barbershop back in Los Angeles. So it's kind of trumped up and all these kind of notions of, of visualization are amped up. Colors are brighter, greener, bolder, stripes are bigger, checkers are smaller, chairs are brighter. We're here <laughs> to give you the ultimate experience of a barbershop. Initially, I was really interested in bringing together this union or unification of barbers from all over the world. We'll have Victor Garcia hailing from Los Angeles from the Union Barbershop in my hometown of Wilmington, California. We'll have Daniel, a barber that has been of long service to the Soho community and the town of London. Another person, which I can't really call a barber, but a barber of sorts, is Carlos from Pepe's in Camden. Part of my practice as an artist is to bring two worlds together, the general audience and the art audience in a kind of museum space or gallery space. Uh, this is kind of my mission as an artist and something I really enjoy doing. What I hope an audience gets out of coming to see the Sweeney Tate is that when they go back into their neighborhoods and walk down the streets of London or their hometowns around the world, that when they peer into these barbershops that they pass every day and probably never notice, would actually take notice of these place, put their faces, press their faces up against the window, leave their index fingers and their nose prints on the windows to look inside and to see these small worlds that are essentially stages for life. These places where people are sharing experiences, sharing their grief, sharing their losses, but also sharing their triumphs and sharing their vision. So I hope that that's what an audience would get out of this, a place that they could kind of relate back to their, their own world and experiences. I hope to convey that a little, a little bit about the space of kind of uh, contemplation, a space of kind of transformation, because that's what it is. You go in and you become transformed when you leave the space. You know, you get a haircut, you get a shave or whatever it is. And it is a real space of transformation. It, it, it kind of, uh, it gives you the, it's the refresh button or the, the reboot of your, of your, your appearance. And I think that that's super important.